Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2015 German adventure and comedy movie called Help, I Shrunk My Teacher. The movie begins with Felix Frontman, a young boy previously expelled from many schools due to his behavior, hastily preparing for his first day at Otto Leonhardt School, the last school in his neighborhood that can accept him. After getting lost in the old, unused classrooms of the building, they make their way to the principal's office. The principal, Dr. schmidt Gossenwein, doubts Felix can pass the probation period but lets him prove himself. After sending Felix to Class 5B, she is confronted by school inspector Henning, seeming reluctant to talk to him. Felix's dad advises that if Felix is scared of Principal Schmidt, he should imagine her wearing funny costumes so he would not be scared of her anymore. Felix enters Class 5B and introduces himself to a boy playing with a drone, Mario, and his gang, Robert and Chris. Principal Schmidt enters the class soon after, instructs Felix to sit next to Ella, and begins the math lesson. After class, Mario and his gang also approach Felix and explain that if Felix wants to join the gang, he must complete three dares, the first being breaking into an old, haunted teacher's room after dark. Felix hesitates then leaves. However, he keeps thinking about it and decides to jump out of his window and go back to school after dark. Michalski, the school keeper, heads home while talking to an unseen figure. Felix, Mario, Robert, and Chris who witness Michalski deduce that he is talking to Holda Steichbarth's ghost, a former school principal who mysteriously disappeared. Felix then breaks through the sewer and makes his way to the old teacher's room. Turns out the room is full of foreign treasures, with a prominent painting of an old man, who is Otto Leonhard himself, hanging on the wall. In front of the painting is an interesting ball inside a concave container, which Felix takes. He is not aware that the eyes of Otto's painting can move and watch his movements. He waves at the window, signaling Mario and his gang to come with him. However, Principal Schmidt notices the sound Felix makes, she gets curious then follows the source of the sound. She catches Felix, scolds him, and tells him his probation is over and he is expelled from the school. She also realizes Felix is hiding something and demands it back, which is the ball. After putting the ball back into place, she continues scolding Felix, but Felix closes his eyes and imagines her in a ridiculous situation as his father advised so he would not be scared. The ball magically spins on its own, slowly at first but getting faster until the container produces a bright spark. Felix opens his eyes, puzzled because Schmidt seems to mysteriously disappear. Turns out she has shrunk to a very small size and she is confused as well. She panics as Mario and his gang enter the room and hide inside Felix's backpack, carried home by Felix. The next morning, Felix is startled to find shrunk Schmidt on his bedside table. He explains that last night he wished her to be small so he would not be scared of her scolding him, then attempts to wish her back to normal size again while making breakfast, but it does not work. He tries to hide Schmidt from his father by putting her inside a sandwich and quickly rushes to school. At school, Inspector Henning, accompanied by Michalski, is seen bringing guests into the old teacher's room. The guest is a wealthy family with twin girls. He plans to convert the old teacher's room to a parents' club room and throws all the treasures left by Otto. The twin girls inspect the magic ball and it suddenly bursts fire. Michalski uses a fire extinguisher that releases foam to all the family and Inspector Henning. At the door, Felix wants to get in but is surprised to see there are people already in the room. Schmidt gets angry at the scene and instructs Felix to confront Inspector Henning, bringing a message from her that he has no premises at this school. He replies that Mario, his son, is about to move out from the school and the school will be closed because it lacks enough students. The guests then leave the room. Felix asks Schmidt what is going on. She explains that the school will be closed then reopened as an elite school. Felix argues that she is only one student short and the school will be saved from closure if she admits him. She refuses, still complying with the rules that Felix must pass his exams and probation period. Realizing that his principal actually needs him, Felix demands her to help him in his math exam by putting her inside his pencil case. He promises to return her to normal size again after she helps him. During the math exam, Mario gives Felix the second dare, which is for Felix to do all of his and his gang's exams. Felix insists that Schmidt helps him, and she seems to truly help him. After school, he talks again to her near the school exit, unaware that Ella is secretly watching him as she gets suspicious of his behavior from the exam. She follows him on his way home. He falls while riding his skateboard and Ella discovers that Schmidt sank, then helps Felix to restore her to normal height again. They go to the old teacher's room and try to reconstruct last night's situation, but to no avail. Felix realizes the magic has something to do with the mysterious ball. 
Schmidt explains that she might have an explanation for the magic ball at her home as she loves collecting old books and manuscripts. Meanwhile, in Mario's home, Inspector Henning discovers that the school admits one more student and his plan to close the school might be unsuccessful. He wants to make an offer with Dr. Schmidt and quickly leaves. In Schmidt's home, Felix and Ella discover that the ball can be opened and contains ashes. It suddenly shows a hologram record of Otto Leonhardt making a magic elixir to transfer his spirit to the school building. They deduce that the school is not haunted by Hulda Stichbarth's ghost, but Otto's spirit himself. The spirit protects anyone who dares to harm or degrade the school in any means, that is why the attempt to make Schmidt return to her normal size is unsuccessful because she has done nothing to prevent the school from being closed. After talking with Felix and Ella, she also realizes that she is hated by almost all of the students and other school stakeholders. The next day, Felix and Ella deduce Otto's plans for the school, that he wanted to make learning at school to be fun just like a playground. There are old maps showing underground rooms which each represent a subject such as math and geography. Schmidt rejects the idea that learning can be fun. At school, the math exam results come out, and Felix surprisingly got a D while Mario and his gang all got an E. Frustrated, Mario confronts Felix and takes Felix's possessions, including Schmidt inside his bag. Felix and Ella go into Mario's house to retrieve Schmidt. With their clever plan, they successfully retrieve Schmidt and escape from Mario. They quickly head back to the school to stop the conference which decides the school's closure. At the school, Inspector Henning concludes the school must be closed, which is met by shock from all of the teachers. Felix interrupts the meeting, delivers the letter of his acceptance which has just been signed by Schmidt. However, Inspector Henning is not sure if it is truly Schmidt who signed the letter, then tears it to pieces. He argues that Schmidt has long abandoned the school's fate as he presents Schmidt's successful application in the school authority. Felix and the teachers are shocked, then Inspector Henning leaves. However, when he passes through the old teacher's room, he meets Schmidt then he is shrunk as well. The floor under them opens up, then they both fall into the deep. Meanwhile, Felix is still disappointed about the situation, refuses to help Ella find Schmidt and leaves. Ella single-handedly attempts to save Schmidt, heads to the basement and discovers a passage, but she is caught by Mario and his gang. At home, Felix realizes he should not leave anyone hanging, so he goes back to school to find Ella. He meets Mario and his gang and tries to explain what is at stake. Ella presents an audio record which she takes at Mario's home, showing that Mario admits the school will be closed and transformed into an elite school and only elite kids will be admitted. Robert and Chris, not coming from an elite family, are disappointed then decide to join Ella and Felix. They discover the secret passage in the basement and are about to go inside as Mario returns and joins them as he is worried about his missing dad. Turns out Schmidt and Inspector Henning are trapped inside a room with the school cat threatening them. The secret passage first leads into the geography room. Felix, Ella, Mario, Robert, and Chris solve the geography riddle then the door to the next room opens. The next room is math, then they work together again to open the next door. Through the pipe, Felix communicates with Schmidt and confronts her about her application at the school authority. Schmidt admits that she applied a long time ago before the school is about to be closed. After solving the math puzzle, they successfully save Schmidt and Henning then head back to the old teacher's room. After vowing to not close the school, Schmidt and Henning are returned to their normal size. The school is reopened, the secret learning playground is discovered and revamped, and Felix is finally accepted into the school. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.